that was that was a uh, that was really cool and it was a moment that I'll always have with me. So that was it's fun to have my my wife and brother here. Um, they got to see it as well. So just a special special moment that I'll always I'll always remember. Did you think that was going to come at all? Um, honestly, after that, after my first at bat, uh, no. <laughs> so they waited till my fourth at bat. So it caught me by surprise a little bit. Glenn? Hey, what, what, um, yeah, I, I know you, like you said, you haven't necessarily taken a whole lot of time to reflect on the streak and everything, but um, is there anything that you think is going to stand out from this when you look back, as you say here now? Um, I mean, it's a multitude of things. Uh, I touched on it the other day. Great training staff, great strength staff. Um, Strength staff, not only here, but in my offseason, uh, Adam Barber over at Tort. I forgot to mention him the other day, but he does a fantastic job getting me ready for the season. Um, a little bit of luck, you know, not, you know, avoiding certain injuries that, that, that just sort of come with every baseball season, um, being able to avoid those. Uh, wanting to wanting to be out there every day. It's a... I touched on it again the other day. It's it's a mentality that you got to be you got to want to show up and play every day. Uh, so I'm proud of that. And um, uh, yeah, just you just never know who's at this level. You never know who's going to show up to watch you play that day. And uh, I know me personally. I made a trip when I was a junior in high school to Yankee Stadium uh, to see Derek Jeter, who was my idol growing up. And um, I just know how bummed I would have been if if he wasn't in the lineup that day. And um, I still think about that. And uh, not that I'm anywhere near the level of Jeter, but, you know, I, I see some 15 jerseys every once in a while. And uh, you never know who's making a trip to see me for the first time. And I want to be out there playing.